So just driving around looking for a place to do like a quick Q&A video. So I thought I'd stop at this park. And it's kind of crazy. There's people everywhere. There must be like a Donny Osmond concert going on or something. So I just checked and I can't believe this, but it's actually been a year. It's been almost a year since my last Q&A video. My only Q&A video was a year ago. I can't believe that. I am such a slacker. I can honestly say that I will not do that ever again. I will never, ever, ever in my life go a whole year without doing a Q&A video. Man, it's embarrassing. But everyone's looking at me these people over here these people are looking at me because they're like look at this guy he hasn't done a Q&A video in a year also pretty much everybody is here playing Pokemon Go which it looks like it's pretty fun everybody is addicted to it but I would play but I've never played or seen Pokemon in my life so I think it would be kind of hypocritical of me if I started now all right guys let's get right into it thank you to everybody who asked a question I really appreciate you guys taking the time just to ask a question any kind of engagement is is awesome so thanks for your comments thanks for your questions okay this first question comes from Kimmy uh, Kimmy has a YouTube channel called She's In Her Apron. She also has another channel called She's No Longer In Her Apron. <laughs> Let's just say this, it's not safe for kids, so. Kimmy asks, donuts or muffins, bagel or English muffins? We definitely eat more donuts in our house just because the kids always want donuts. The kids are always asking for donuts. So I go with donuts. But I'm also, I don't, I'm also really picky about donuts. Here, here, okay, here's the thing about donuts. When I was a kid, donuts had uh, chocolate frosting or glazed or maple frosting, and then you had your option of sprinkles. Now, it's getting out of hand. They're putting bacon on donuts. They're putting Fruit Loops on donuts. Who wants Fruit Loops on donuts? In my whole life, I cannot think of one time that I've been eating a donut and thought to myself, it's good. It's pretty good, but it's just, it's just missing something. It's just, it's missing some stale Fruit Loops. The only person that wants this junk on their donut is like a classroom full of nine-year-old kids with learning disabilities. Bagel or English muffin? Again, like I like them both, but I'd probably go with the bagel just because it's more filling. Like you get a bagel, you toast it, you put some cream cheese on it where the cream cheese starts melting just a little bit. That's good stuff, man. I would do that. I'd go with a bagel. Carrie B asked this question a year ago. I'm so sorry that it took me this long to respond to your question. Talk about like the worst engagement ever on a YouTube channel. What video on your channel are you most proud of? The first video that I ever did, which it wasn't really a vlog, but it kind of like kicked it off for me where I used to do just montage videos and then I discovered vlogs and I started doing those. It was this this video where two years ago we took the kids to Disneyland. And what is so cool about that video is that we had moments that day when we had conversations with our kids and experiences that when I was on the way home editing that video, I had already forgotten about those. I had already forgotten about those moments and those experiences. And now that I had them to remind myself by and keep them forever, that's that's awesome. I'm gonna say that video because uh, I'm I'm really proud of it because of the memories I have, but also because that video really changed my life and introduced me to vlogging and made me start this YouTube journey. So that video is always gonna stand out to me. And really, any any of the videos with the kids, a lot of the other stupid videos that I'll put together, I don't really, I usually don't save them. But the videos with the kids, like I always save those. Those always mean a lot and I cherish those videos. Question number two. She's got three questions here, which I usually would not allow, but since you waited so long for these, 
I'll allow it. Question two, most embarrassing moment. Once I went and pulled my friend's pants down in public, and then it wasn't who I thought it was. It wasn't my friend at all. So that was kind of embarrassing. More so for him. It was probably more so embarrassing for him, but also it was kind of embarrassing for me too. And lastly, you have a favorite singer you secretly listen to because it would be embarrassing if anyone found out. Okay, so here's the deal. I have about 13,000 songs in my computer because I'm a DJ, so I have to have everything so I can play everything for people. So I have music in my computer that I don't like. I have music that I don't ever plan on listening to, but I have to keep it there in case somebody wants to hear it. And every time I go to DJ a dance, like a junior high dance or high school dance, I always get a lot of requests for Justin Bieber and Taylor Swift. I would never buy music from either of those artists, but I gotta admit, some of them are kinda good. And I have caught myself rocking out to Taylor Swift at times. Not intentionally, but if like a song comes on the radio, I will rock out to Taylor Swift, okay? Say what you want, I don't care. You could say whatever you want about Taylor Swift. I think she's a good artist. I think that she could rock. I don't get why everybody gives her a hard time. She's really good, she's really talented. I don't, what's the, what's the problem? I'll tell you who I don't get. You know the guys who are like, Shh, Taylor Swift, really? Taylor Swift, like the only songs that she can write are about her love life and life experiences. Really, what do you want her to write about? Like a tour in Vietnam? The indigenous people of Alaska? I don't know, like what do you want her to write about? Jeez, just leave it alone, man. Leave Taylor alone. The real Mr. Bertram asked, who is your favorite YouTuber? Me. I don't know how to pronounce your name, I'm sorry. The Lajawis, maybe? The Lajawis? Good to meet you, the, the Lajawis. They said, what is the most enjoyable vlog that you've made to date and why? Um, I'll say it again, like, the Disney video that we did was awesome because we captured memories. I'm really enjoying doing skits right now, but I want to keep doing vlogs because what's cool about vlogs is it kind of forces you to be creative on the spot as well as it also, it makes you do more cool things. There's pressure, you know, what can you create out of nothing? You're going to have a very normal mundane day. How can you make it interesting? That's what's cool about vlogging. Thanks again. Thanks to everybody who asked the question and to watch this video. Again, I'm seriously serious. I'm serious this time, okay? I'm seriously gonna do more Q&A videos. I hear music now, so let's go, let's go check it out. Let's go see what band's playing over here. I jokingly said it was gonna be uh, Donny Osmond because of all the elderly people. It was either that or I was gonna say it was a Lady Gaga concert. That probably would have been funnier. But anyways, I honestly do not know who that is playing, so let's go check it out. Who's playing? Chicago. Chicago? Where do I get my backstage passes? Um, we just ran out. Dang it. I know. Your I have an idea. Do you want to hear it? <laughs> sure. Okay. What if I give you my camera and then you go get like a three second shot for my YouTube channel? Would that be cool? No. I, no? I can't take pictures. What about videos? Can you take videos? <laughs> 